<laughs> What's up, YouTube? Date is 1220, Bitcoin at 23.5. I've my stop loss on my Bitcoin trade at $22,000. I was able to get in really early at $19,700. There is resistance at $24,000. Then if we could break $24,000 tomorrow, my next resistance would be $25,000. We've never gone above $24,200. So we don't really know what's resistance. I guess you could say $24,200 is resistance because we got rejected off of there. But I think that was just a little bit of a wick above $24,000. And, and I believe we got rejected off the $24,000 resistance and i believe that's what happened that's it i mean that's just what i think so that's how i'm reading the charts i'm gonna say uh we have resistance at twenty four thousand dollars and uh the next resistance above that would be twenty five thousand dollars in price discovery you don't really know where the resistance is because um there's no real resistance so because we've never been there before so what i just do is i do a thousand dollar increments and then when if we go above that price and we get rejected off a little bit higher then that's where the resistance is because you got rejected um as far as grt coin needs consolidation but i got back in it um so that's cool uh bnt coin is another coin that i'm looking at it was just listed on coinbase it did not have a coinbase pump by any means it has just gone down since it was listed on coinbase so i'm looking at the bnt chart on binance because it's been there way longer but now that it was listed on coinbase i i, I looked into it and it looks like a decent project uh, there is support right now at $1.30. That's literally what we're sitting at um, on the dot. So if we don't, if we break resistance there, or support there, I should say, then we would be falling down to $0.95 cents to $1. That'd be my next support level. Um, so if you can pick up anywhere between $0.95 cents to $1, that's a great buy. Otherwise, if we don't fall that low, I, I don't think $1.30 is a bad price. What I might do is, since we're literally sitting on support right now, I would just wait it out. And see. I mean, for me, this would be no trade zone. If we can bounce above 130 with some significant, some significance, then I would be considering buying BNT just around 130 to 140. But if we don't bounce above it, and if we can't close a four-hour candle above the one dollar thirty cent chart without any wicks below it, then I would be, I would just not trade it. I mean, I would wait till about 95 cents to a dollar. That would be my position on that. So that's probably what I'll be doing. Um, so if I start taking profits on GRT again. Um, I would be, or if my stop loss gets hit on GRT as I move my stop loss up as I am in profit, then I would be probably going to BNT at some point if we can see one of the two scenarios uh, play out on that. That's all I got for you guys. That's my market, up market update. I'll see you all later.